In order to understand what a paralymphatic fistula is, you have to understand something about the anatomy of the ear. And we're talking here about the inner ear. What happens is in a paralymphatic fistula, there is leakage of perilymph from the inner ear into the middle ear. And most commonly, this happens at the round window membrane. The way patients develop a perilymphatic fistula is usually related to trauma. So we're talking about external trauma to the ear, whether it's a hockey puck or a slap or a motor vehicle accident or a motorcycle accident. And we can also, another way you can develop a perilymphatic fistula is from violent sneezing, barotrauma, scuba diving. These are all ways trauma causes a perilymphatic fistula. And what we're talking about here is external pressure up against the ear, in the ear canal against the tympanic membrane causing a perturbation or displacement of the stapes bone causing excessive pressure in the inner ear and then leakage of fluid from the round window membrane. Treatment for a perilymphatic fistula involves repair of the round window membrane. And this is most commonly done through the ear canal under general anesthesia, lifting up the eardrum, getting the approach to the round window membrane, and placing a graft over that area.